I'm Jackus, and this is a quick guide to direct event binding, the new system of communication between devices in Fortnite Creative and the Unreal Editor for Fortnite. The legacy channel system has recently been phased out, and a lot of people are wondering how to use event binding, so I've created this handy guide to help you out. So, what exactly is direct event binding? Event binding is a system where devices transmit and receive events and functions communicating with each other. Think of it as a visual coding interface system, like Scratch or something like that. An event is where a device activates or a player performs an action. This event results in a function, which is where another device is triggered to perform an action or set a condition. This binds the two devices together, hence event binding. Let's create an example to show how it works. I have here a Rift Teleporter and an Item Granter, set to grant an Assault Rifle, Pump Shotgun and Submachine Gun. I want to grant all of these items once the player teleports into the Rift. Firstly, I need to link two Rifts together. What I do is go into the settings of Rift 1 and find the On Enter Send Event to event and link that to Rift 2's Teleport function. As you can see, this means that when I enter the rift, it sends the event to the other rift, which activates the function, teleporting me. Doing the same with the other rift means that I can teleport back and forth whenever I like, but if you'd like to make the system one way, just make sure the rift 2 does not have anything in it when you enter it. Next up, I need to make the item granter give the player their weapons. This time we'll be using the Functions tab to show off how that works. Going into the Item Granter, we go to the Function tab and we will go to the function Grant Item When Receiving From and hook that up to Rift 1's On Player Enter event. Alternatively, you can hook it up to Rift 2's When Teleported To event. Both will result in the same outcome. You will also want to tinker with the Item Granter settings to make sure it works as you want it to, such as granting one or all items, and granting extra ammo. If you want to go a step further, you can hook up some sentries to the rift so that we have something to shoot at. The process for setting these up is pretty simple. We just want them to spawn when receiving from rift 1 being entered. Make sure that spawn on game start is disabled, otherwise the event won't function as they will have already spawned. Now let's give this thing a test run. As you can see, I enter the first rift and emerge from the second. I am also granted all three weapons and all three sentries spawn. And because I made it go one way, going into rift 2 does not send me back to rift 1. So, what if you convert an island to UEFN? Well, don't worry. All of your event binding settings will still be there. Although, you won't be able to delete the link without deleting the device it's linked to. Also, as the Accolades device and Save Point device are currently not supported in UEFN, any event bindings that relied on these devices will no longer function. Something to note is that there are a couple of issues with event binding with it being a fairly new system. If you move a device from one map to the other in the Legacy Creative Editor, it will have all of its event values reset and you will have to relink it. There may also be issues in copying and pasting devices within the same map, such as new bindings being reset, or old ones not copying over, particularly when copying through the hotbar, so beware of those. And there you have it, that's your quick guide to direct event binding. This system is here to stay, so I hope this guide helps some of you learn it. It's really not that complicated once you get used to it. If you have any questions about the system, feel free to comment and I'll do my best to get back to you and help you out. Stay creative!